Hi, my name is Drew Fitzgerald, and I'm the Client Services Intern at the Yellowhead Regional Library. I want to show you how to pack the button making makerspace kits. Now, we're going to go through each resource separately and then pack the kit. If all you need to know is how to pack the kit itself, feel free to skip to the end of the video. Also remember that there are two button making kits at YRL, but they are identical, so we're only going to go through the second one. First, the button press. Make sure that the lever on the press is pushed all the way down. The press then fits into the cardboard box on its side. Be careful, as it is fairly heavy and the top screws tend to catch on the sides of the box. The button making supplies are considered consumables, so you only have to return what you don't use. Make sure the backs and fronts go back in their labeled zip top bags, and the bag with the button backs can then be sealed. The Mylar covers go into the plastic envelope, which goes into the zip top bag with the button fronts. That can be sealed, and then the zip top bags can be attached using the binder clip. After that, we're ready to pack the kit. In the bottom of the bin, there is a foam insert with a conveniently sized hole. The button press fits nicely in there. The circle punch sits on one side of the button press, and the leftover button making supplies sit on top of the button press. The return checklist and completed survey should be put in the front of the Get Started Guide, which sits on top of the button making supplies. After that, the lid of the kit can be closed and it's ready to go. And that's how the button making kit should be packed. The kit should then be put out with your blue boxes to be picked up with your van run. Good luck and happy programming!